good. All right. If we sound good, you want to count us in? Yes. Three, two, one, go. Mm, you fuckers. We'll go do another. so rude? <laughs> <laughs> he called them cunts last week. See, I'm improving. Mm, yes, yes. I don't, I mean, sort of, I guess. It's, it might be better a little bit. I'm a work in progress, always. <laughs> and welcome to another episode of Necro Electric. I'm your host with a foul mouth, Sean yes. D. Skellington. Very foul. This is my mermaid looking wife, Kylie. And then we got. A uh, chick who has a car with no door handles, Jordan Chitlet. <laughs> <laughs> they are on there. They just don't work. Yeah, I can't like lift them up. So, And today we got a special new guest. First time to the Woo-hoo. podcast. Take it off. He's a local Waco artist. I thought his art was pretty dope. We wanted yes. to have him in here. His name is Russell Campbell. What's up, everyone? Welcome, Hello. Russell. Hello. Or Russ. Russ. I feel like I'm... Older now, I just want one syllable. Russ. 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 <laughs> Soon it'll just be. It er. makes me sound older. I don't know. Er. Every time I introduce myself for the Mr. last Russ. five years, it's Russ. <laughs> so. All right, Russ. Yeah. All right. Well, our our podcast always has a theme. So, what's our theme today? Our theme today is sex, art, and rock and roll. My three oh. favorite things. Yes. And feel free to stray. We're also going to get to know you. Sweet. Yes. Sweet. Cool. And before we dive into it, we have a goal of one million subscribers. So if you're watching this shit, we put a lot of effort into it. And you don't mm-hmm. have to pay anything. So just fucking hit the button for me, please. Yeah. Do it now. <laughs> Only like a couple away. It takes five seconds to <laughs> click that button. Maybe less than. And sometimes we have celebrities. Sometimes we have former guests and friends. And this week... Uh, he's been on our show a couple times. Susanna Banana's brother, Marco Lopez. What's up, guys? Marco again. Just kind of wanted to reach out to y'all, give you a shout out. Uh, been a minute since I've spoken to my Negro Electric crew. Shout out to Sean, Kylie. Everything looks fantastic on the show. You guys are still kicking it. You're killing it. The show's hilarious. Um, just kind of waiting for an invitation back. <laughs> I'm joking, man. I'm joking. No big deal. Would love to, but yeah, no pressure. So uh, just shout out to you guys and uh, keep on chugging along, man. Love the show. Peace. Boom. We're back. Thanks, Marco. And once again, subscribe. Fucking A. <laughs> Turn on Fucking notifications day. now. Yeah, yes. hit that little bell thing. Yep. Ring a ring. Yeah. <laughs> so when I was checking out your art, I also noticed that you're a huge Deftones fan. Yeah, you could say that. And if you've seen if you've seen any of our show, you'll know that at the Skellington House, we're big Deftone fans. Yes. Yeah. And it's Me almost too. it's almost kind of morphed though, because like if if the lights are dim and you hear some Deftones, well, it's you, on. You know, I'm pu- you know, I'm putting the back <laughs> into it. You know. Yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does I, it just provoke those feelings when you're at the concert too? It's one of them things. It's like like you just hear the Deftones playing live, and well, you're when like they, when they break it down and play like a slow, sexy song. Everyone's like looking at each other. Going, yeah. This Here is, comes this the butcher. The yeah. This is our song, babe. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I didn't have a babe at this one. I was just kind of like looking at my buddies, going, "Oh, you this guys, is- you guys know, you guys already know. <laughs> you like, know, I love you." Yeah. Just recently got back from San Diego, celebrating my 65th time seeing them. Wow, oh, that's shit. amazing. Since 90. Seven, I started. Golly, damn, that's so, awesome. I thought we yeah. were bad. I've seen them four times. Yeah, I've only seen them three times. Three times. My friends think I'm crazy. I have like a whole like tribute room yeah. in my house, and that's like, not crazy. I'm that's kind of, totally normal. <laughs> yeah, kind of, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm kind of on a first name basis. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> so we to, actually we grew up in like the same town mm-hmm. that Chino lives in. Okay, but cool. I've never met him. He's a cool dude, man. Yeah. He, uh, he came up and gave me a big hug in San Diego whenever I was there. And he Aww. was like, how'd you get out here? And I was like, uh, plane, usually. Uh, oh, that's so awesome. So, nice so are you guys. just always there like in the front row and then they like start yeah. recognizing yeah, you? Yeah, we have or? a method. Uh, some friends of mine who are like crazy concert goes where you get there early in the morning and wait all day. Oh, nice. Run to the rail. Because I mean, you have that's to experience a Deftone show at the yeah. rail. That's there's no yeah. other There's no other way. Um, we kind of hung back at this show just because it was a festival. It was their festival, the mm-hmm. Dia de los Deftones Festival. So, so cool. we kind of hung back and just Shout like enjoyed the show, danced yeah. around, just talked to people, got food. I mean, they had they had they know how to do a festival. Nice. Their festival was like curated by them. They picked the bands. 
Gojira was there. I don't know if you've ever heard That's of so Gojira. Awesome. Oh my yeah. God, mm-hmm. they're incredible. Shout out. Yeah, it was awesome. It was really cool. Was they there do some it. smaller wow. like opening bands that went? They had like nine bands in two stages. So they oh just had, God. they had, you know, they'd have a band play and then as soon as they were done, the other one would start. Yeah. So, and it was at Petco Park in mm-hmm. San Diego, like not in the park, but like in the little area outside center field. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. So it was really kind of small, but I mean, you knew the, Two or three, four thousand people that were there were there for oh, that's so all the cool. same reason. We got to so, go to something like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot different than other festivals I've been to, where it's you know a two or three day festival and you've got you know huge bands over the course of a, of a weekend yeah. or something. You know that everybody was there was there to see yeah. that done. So yeah, oh, it man. was really awesome. If we went to a festival like that, though, I don't know if I could like keep my hands off you in the middle of the crowd yeah. <laughs> hey, there were some your tits there, were some, in your shirt. Uh, there were some situations going on were there yeah yeah there were some people really, what is it really about their it? music that yeah. just i don't I love, know I've, I've heard him say that before but it's just it's melodic but it's you know it's it's heavy it's melodic it's, it's his voice too like as soon mm-hmm. as his voice starts like you're like oh okay i'm i'm relaxed now like all right let's go let's relax. go i'm then, relaxed but now. then if you get in the fucking traffic out here on 35 and you turn on a hard song and you're screaming at the top of your lungs yeah. it kind of helps alleviate the uh, stress of the day That's yeah true. yeah i have found that uh I love when like current TV shows use deaf tones in their shows. Like there's a a show on Netflix called Chambers. Mm-hmm. Um, if you haven't watched it, you should. It's it's I haven't seen it. So Shout out to Chambers. It is creepy <laughs> as fuck. It is so cool. I love that show. I'm ready oh. for season two. And the very last episode, they used Pink Maggot. At, at like oh, at the yeah. event, and I was like, "Hey, it's a Deftones song! <laughs> nice. Oh, that's so cool!" And I was, I was just like, "Oh, that's I used to awesome. watch that show on Fox called The Following with Kevin Bacon. Yeah, I think it's off the air now, but like, never seen that one either. They used a couple of Deftones songs, and then in the very like last episode, he's doing this whole slow motion walk out of the hospital thing, like he just like <laughs> made some cool thing discovery. Yeah. And they were playing Rosemary from Deftones. And I was like, that is a perfect way to end that show. (laughs) I got goosebumps. I was like, ah. I think the first time I ever heard them, though, was uh, uh, watching Queen of the Damned. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when, you know, Lestat's getting his, you know, junk sucked by (laughs) What's-Her-Face. And I was like, who is this band? And my sister's like, oh, that's that's Deftones. Yet another perfect band to get your junk sucked off. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Sorry, Mom. (laughs) Shout out to Mom. (laughs) Well. I almost died listening to Deftones too. When uh, when I was driving, and I was like uh, probably like seventeen, eighteen. I was coming oh. down the, the Sonora. I thought you were going to say recently. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> no I was with uh, Adam. Was in the car, of um, course. Fucking, oh, I can't remember. I think. It was two other people in there too, but we were going down the Sunol grade. If you're not familiar, it's oh. it's on 680 highway. At a certain mm. point, it just goes up a fucking mountain for a minute. Oh no! But when you're going down it, there's a uh, truck stop. Uh, where they weigh the trucks. Yeah. And then I was driving and I was in my fucking um, Mitsubishi Eclipse and I was like flying down, not paying attention. <laughs> and we were listening to like uh, Seven Words or something, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there was two big trucks like this and then I was coming up and then there was a truck merging in and all of a sudden I was fucked because it was a car Scary behind shit. me. <laughs> and then I was just Jeez. literally like stood up and stepped on my gas. Oh you know? my God. And it's like, suck, 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 suck. <laughs> and then everybody starts like screaming. They're like, we're going to fucking die. It's like <laughs> slowing, then I barely made it through. If you were in an eclipse, dude, that's like a skipping rock on a highway. Like, oh, yeah. my you know, oh my god! Oh my gosh! That's crazy. Yeah, crazy shit. Sometimes they have that effect on you, man. I've, 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 I call it like the soundtrack to my life, you know, because mm-hmm. I've, I can, like, base certain situations that's happened in my life off certain albums and stuff like that. I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that, like with other bands they're into. But I was like, oh, that was 2003. That was when I went through that breakup. Mm, <laughs> soundtrack yeah. song. And you get all sad. Yeah. And you're like, nah, I'm going to get over it. I'm going to listen to I feel to like that's more. the case uh, with the, a lot of people's favorite bands is like they mm-hmm. always relate to it on a deeper level Yeah, mm-hmm. at certain points in their life, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. when, when Deftone's Saturday Night Wrist first came out, mm-hmm. I wasn't really like digging it at yeah. first. I was in high school, but I appreciated it more like a couple years later when mm-hmm. I re-listened to it. It grows it on just, you. It just, you know. It, it grows on you. I love that they don't stick life. to the same format. They don't sound like 
every album's different. Mm-hmm. And disclaimer, that, she mm. she does that for almost every album and every band. Uh, recently, okay, <laughs> like Bring Me the Horizon used to be hard as fuck, and then they went super and, fucking and, soft. And every album and that they come out with, time to get she'll used listen to. to the the first time, and then she's like, "This is fucking trash. Yeah, yeah, like, this I'm is expecting. trash." Yeah. And then like two days later, I come in, and then it's just Shit. like full like, blasting. Yeah. Yeah. She's got her Bring Me the Horizon hoodie on. Right. She's fucking. She's all about it. Right. <laughs> I have a lot of friends who have a love hate relationship with certain albums that they have and stuff. And I'm like, man, you gotta, you gotta yeah. just give credit where it's due. That was that time. That was whatever year, whatever crap they were going through. And then they, yeah. that's how they've made it on an album, you know? Yeah. Um, I See, was at the, I'll, I'll, I'll probably get shit for this, but yeah. that's how I feel about my chemical romance. Mm-hmm. Like, I've had this conversation with people. They're like, oh, they're so emo. They're so emo. And I'm like, listen, <laughs> The first couple of albums were that way, but you have to follow them through their... First of all, what's their, wrong with being so emo? Nothing. Exactly. Look at me. There's nothing wrong with nothing it. Nothing wrong with it. Um, but they like they change for each album, and it just gets better and better. And I'm like, you got to follow them through their through their changes, because it just is... It's yeah. fucking mint. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I feel the same way. I just love that they've gotten out of that whole rap metal genre. Like they were never really in it, but a lot of people labeled them as, "Oh, you're like Limp Biscuit and Corn." And I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. the, "The new no, metal." Not. Yeah. Actually, the first time not I ever all. saw them was at I was living in Reno, and there was a club called the Del Mar. It uh-huh. was the coolest. It was about as big as this fucking place. Wow! But I, the first time I saw Deftones, it was Deftones, Incubus, and Papa Roach. Oh, and, uh, so odd. Wow. And um, God, I always want to call him Simon Says, but I think it's um. I can't remember the name of the other band, but yeah, I saw them all. Like Incubus, the dude had like a beard at the time, yeah, and, like, big ass dreads. <laughs> yeah, Fucking, yeah. They're doing a 20th anniversary uh, tour right now for Make Yourself, and I want to see them so badly. Oh, there, you I just saw missed going it. To Dallas. You just missed it. Oh, it was last week. <laughs> oh no! God. But he went to like all three of their shows. Wow. He was like snapping God. the whole show, and I was like, oh. Brit, Bummer. They he, sounded he's amazing. on my list. He's on my list of people that if I had the opportunity to sleep with them. <laughs> I would shout out to Oscar. Is that I would your, your whole pass. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking yeah. all passes, Oscar. <laughs> I've been listening to him. I've been listening to them since I was, you know, thirteen years old. So like seeing, yeah. like, and I followed him on Instagram, and I'm like, oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> you're so beautiful. I have to say, he is a beautiful man, <laughs> and he's like, he's smart, and he's so talented. You're just like, he's a mm. wicked artist too. I don't know if you guys have yeah. seen any of his stuff. He's incredible, he's an incredible yeah. artist. Yeah. yeah, back in our hometown in San Francisco, the gave away he he painted or they designed a car remember it was the honda car with the fish no, i don't remember remember when they had the album that had the fish yeah fucking I love that one. live 105 oh, wow. gave away a car that had the oh i didn't know oh, like the graphic it. on it wow mm-hmm. that's, that's awesome. cool that's cool yeah i saw those dudes i've seen them every time they've like either opened for deftones or been on the same tour with deftones and they always put on an incredible show mm. they sound just like they're so layered incubus is just mm, with yes. their dj and then their drummer and their guitar player i mean they just they have all this stuff happening on stage it's really cool yeah the, i feel the same way about cannibal corpse <laughs> the only band that i've seen multiple times is 30 seconds to mars mm. i've seen them four times there we go oscar yeah so you know i think i'm over the whole like jared leto thing because like we got to see this list that you got it is yeah. in my head How big I, is this list? I haven't written it down anywhere How long is this list? Oh it's uh it's I, i've had to pare it down over the years it was pretty long there for a little while but so what's the best metal song to have sex to Good. the best uh, metal song or like hard rock song oh um i don't know i i I have very, I have a very vivid memory of uh, having sex to Rage Against the Machine. There you go. So that's really the only thing that I can think of. Because okay, I have to look this song up. Excuse my phone. Mm. <laughs> I cannot remember. Are the we name talking of it. like Bulls on Parade? Or no, are we like Killing in the Name of Killing in the Name. There you yeah, go. Yeah. So that's that's okay. the really the only one that I can think of yeah. vividly. Like remember, because most of the time it's like there's a movie going on in the background, like. You know, clerks or, or on. yeah, something, something like that. So. Golden girls playing in the background. <laughs> try, uh, try Slipknot one time. <laughs> see, you know, if you, see if you can. Yeah. yeah, I can get a rhythm to slip any Slipknot song. I, I have a love hate relationship with Slipknot. I used to listen to them a whole lot when I was in high school, mm-hmm. and then I just, I don't know. I feel like they have changed not for the better, and I just stopped listening to them. So it's like, eh. I got that way with Corn. Like the first two albums were incredible, and then I was like. Ugh. Yeah, mm, they're good. I got it, but it's like, ugh, come on. 
Change Sean it got up. me into typo negative. Oh yes, uh, black number one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that's typo. That's his gem. <laughs> I saw typo at Ozfest like in '98 or something like that, and they were just that dude is so tall. Peter Steele. Yeah, I was. Yeah. yeah, I was way in the yeah, back. He was, yeah. He's like nine foot tall. That guy. That's Shout out crazy. to Bizarre Guitar, and you know, <laughs> I got to meet him when, you know, oh, yeah. when I was like 15. Nice. <laughs> and then you idolized oh. him. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I was like, whoa, your fucking band's tight. He's like, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate your support. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. And he was wearing the fangs, right? I think he, they were like uh, porcelain. I think oh, he had they're all the time. like permanent mm-hmm. in yeah. there? Wow. That's cool. That's a hardcore. <laughs> he was emo before emo was a was a label. I'm sure. Yeah. Hurry up and take your autograph, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that was Peter Steele. Rest in good. peace. <laughs> nice. Um, do we have a second for a sponsor? Yes. Um, this episode is brought to you by Dark and Dreary Clothing. Dark and Dreary is an edgy fashion and lifestyle brand that embraces great design and unsurpassed quality. Dark and Dreary has quickly gained a following amongst fans of the occult, horror, punk rock, heavy metal, and all-around free thinkers and retailers worldwide without shoving a preachy, trendy, or political message down your throat. So buy the best, fuck the rest, darkanddrearyclothing.com. <laughs> yes, yeah, so quit buying shit on Wish. Go yeah. to fucking. <laughs> is that still Excuse a me, thing? Mister who yeah. buys shit on Wish. Is that still a thing? <laughs> Call me out. Yes. Wish. Is Wish still a thing? It yeah. Is. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it is a thing. Etsy still a thing? I uh, sell on Etsy. She's, she's a five star seller, seller since 2014. <laughs> Everybody wants me to sell on Etsy, and I was like, eh, I just kind of like do originals every now and then. I'll have the prints. Problem, but. The problem with Etsy is that they have become like an open market, so people can buy and resell things. Like they yeah. can buy something on Amazon and then sell it on Etsy, and they don't get like flagged for it, which I think mm. is complete bullshit, yeah. especially for artists. Like um, my fiance is an artist, and he mm. does amazing work, and he's tried to sell on Etsy, but because it's flooded with all the bullshit, like nobody yeah. when they type in stuff his doesn't come up until that like sucks. the very last page and it's just yeah. like okay cool I think that's just the world though even my I have a dark and dreary shirt the hellbound skull shirt yeah oh. and Walmart sells it <laughs> a version <laughs> of it and it even says dark and dreary in a different font yeah like oh. some some company in Mexico made it and then they sell it on walmart.com when the yeah. hell did Walmart try to get so woke <laughs> they've got like gas monkey shirts and like all this stuff for Halloween hey it's I like just all... I just bought a pink fuzzy sweater with some antlers on it so I don't go. know what we're talking about this woke shit yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have adult onesies there too. I saw they are the so comfortable. I Don't bet. shit on that. They look soft. They look soft. Jordan, I'm, I'm expecting you to wear that onesie one time. Girl, go. the first show that we record in December, you best believe I'm coming here in that pink fuzzy sweater. Okay, I guess I'll have to wear mine too. Mm-hmm. Christmas special. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get into your art. If you guys yeah. uh, haven't checked it out yet, we'll have the links uh, for all of his social media but uh here's uh some of his top pieces okay we're back (laughs) so when when i checked it out it it, to describe it it's um somewhat of like silhouette based yeah kind of like kind of like stencil stencil based like i really i'm really getting into the stencil stuff but i actually kind of want to go but then you you design around it yeah yeah yeah. which is really cool it looks awesome yeah i appreciate that man yeah i just uh i do big and bold and sometimes do really colorful stuff and then sometimes just you know i want to do disturbing stuff or stuff that makes you just kind of like oh what in the hell is going on there so um no it's really cool shit i mean i like that style too because like some of my favorite uh i'm I'm an illustrator Mm -hmm. and i was a tattoo artist for 10 years so I've always done art like my whole life, yeah. but I love like you got your Converge yeah. pin. Yeah, it's, the, it's right those there. silhouette logos that yeah. that mm-hmm. stand this test of time. Like mm-hmm. if you like yeah. down where they yeah. used to have the the Jesus Christ yeah. face thing. I want to do I one of all those, those just for my house. I don't Mrs. know if I I don't know if I would like do it to like try to sell it or whatever, but I want to do it to like just have it at my house. You know. Mm-hmm. So do you do mm-hmm. your art? Um, kind of like scuba valley style like uh, like mural style do you just have pe- like big pieces that you sell like where where can i usually we... just buy huge canvases okay. and just just try and sketch out something i can i usually i can't really draw from memory so i have to like look at an image and kind of sketch it out and then i'll add my little spin to it yeah um so and i do that and i would really like to get into murals 
Um, mm-hmm. so I need to learn from Scoob. Scoob is the master. At those. Shout out but, to uh, Scuba Belly. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you're Belly. not following him, you need you need to follow him. He's getting stuff going all around Waco, and he's just he's incredible. He just did that. What was that at MV at yeah, uh, MV Hair Hairs. Salon? Yeah, it's on like so Franklin Edward hands. 18th maybe. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, it's beautiful. So. He did like one side was like a Day of the Dead chick, and then the other side's uh, Edward Scissorhands, like yeah. all the way down the side. Man, it's it's nuts. But we uh. He did a we did a chalk art competition in May for the Silo District Marathon or whatever right on Austin yeah. Avenue yeah. and he did a Stan Lee in chalk paint like chalk what? spray paint and chalk like actual chalk art Holy on shit. the street and like no one knew what it was at first and I was like bro are you kidding me right now it was like so colorful and he's like oh yeah I just wanted to do Stan Lee and I was like that's insane like <laughs> it's probably on his site somewhere I don't know if I have pictures of it or whatever but like a bunch of artists got together and when they had the marathon all, of course all the marathon runners ran through all of our art but right, it was just course. to kind of highlight Waco and to kind of yeah. you know just highlight Austin Avenue and that's where we were handing out water and stuff for uh, some of the artists you know got together and handed out water for that and everything but yeah and he he just he knocked that thing out and we only had like four hours and it was at like stupid o'clock in the morning because that marathon <laughs> so that means you probably know Shay right Oh yeah, Shay. Shay did um, Shout Lord of Shay. the Rings. Uh, she did. Uh, she did for for Bear Arms or something. Oh, a girl's calling me. She, uh, yeah. A girl or I your said, girl? girl? Oh, Ooh. I thought you were saying Shout a girl. girl. She left her. She left her phone at home today, and I told her. I told her daughter. I was like, Hey, take your mom her phone. She's gonna freak out if she hasn't doesn't have it for two seconds. So. Yeah. But yeah, I'll have to give her <laughs> give her a call in a little while. Um, but yeah, we um, we are. I'm part of an artist collective here in Waco, Central Texas mm-hmm. Artist Collective, and we do. We've got. 2020 is going to be insane for us. We've got so much stuff lined up. There is going to be, I haven't got total confirmation on this yet, but we're going to do a tool themed art show yes. in the summer <laughs> at the Kieran Sistrunk Gallery on Washington. Those are some also, also some artist friends of ours that have yeah. converted the front part of their house into an art gallery. Oh, how cool. And they have First Friday stuff, and you guys really got to go check it out. They have an awesome space. It's on Washington. I don't know the address, but it's on Washington Avenue. So Google it's right it. past MC Art Supplies. If you guys mm. go get art supplies at MC Art Supplies, shout mm. out to um, Jessica and A.A. Ron. Um, if you go to there, they're like right, they're like four or five houses down on the other side of the road. But nice. Is that dude's name A.A. Ron? A.A. Ron. A.A. No, Ron? <laughs> Good people, man. Good people. They always like, like, as far as artists are concerned, if you have a certain thing you want, they try their hardest to get it for you. They've got great prices on everything too stuff but like the tool thing is something that because the new album just came out obviously and mm-hmm. i mean uh i told him i said we really need to try to get alex gray to come down because he's their oh artist who God. designed all their yeah. stuff i don't know if that's I gonna got happen <laughs> i don't know if that's gonna happen i'm sure he's probably great. he's probably like going on tour with him or something yeah. but like yeah we're really i'm really excited about that i'm gonna start like trying to plan out something now because i think it's gonna be in june or july yeah we haven't confirmed it yet but we have all that going on. We have like Waco Cultural Arts Fest is uh, sometime Art on Elm, uh, which is really cool. Elm Street. I don't know if you guys have been down there in that area. Uh, yet. Is that it's, over by Brotherwell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's really they're there. really um, shout out to Eastside Market. Oh yeah, yeah. Eastside <laughs> Market. Yeah, those guys at uh, Brotherwell got a real cool thing going on over there too. And they need some art. I need to send them some art. Just like show up and they're like, here, yeah. hang this up. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. And to everybody that's not from Texas, they, if they want to learn in, about this kind of shit, uh, check out Keep Waco Louds Instagram because yeah. they they tend to cover most of it. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, like they cover a lot of the events that are Shout happening. Shout out to Keep Waco Loud. Entertainment yep. wise. <laughs> <laughs> those good. Those guys are so cool, man. I love Jacob and Kate, man. Those. Yeah. They're, they're, they're you know, coming on next week. I yeah. feel like we know them. We actually haven't met in person yet, <laughs> but we talk yeah. online all the time. Yeah. So yeah. And we, we've like seen them at, them at all the events. Yeah. yeah. But we did. We we hang out mostly with Chris and Naomi. Okay. Yeah. So. We yeah. haven't actually had a chance to introduce ourselves, but really they'll be people. on here next week. Next week. Next yeah. week. Yeah. yeah. And they got a podcast coming up too, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. They're January. Something like that. Yeah. January awesome. 2020 is when their their first episode drops. So awesome. you can awesome. subscribe to them on Apple and Spotify and all oh, of yeah. those other ones. I was trying to explain to my mom what a podcast was yesterday. And she goes, so you just sit around and talk? And I was like, yeah, mom, it's really, it's really important. that we." I tried it. to explain <laughs> that to my, to my eight year old this morning. And I was like, it's basically like a show, but I mean, you can watch it, but you also listen to it mostly. And he was like, okay. And then he just walked off and I was like, all right, thanks, kid. Cool, mom. Whatever, mom. <laughs> yeah. Well, my mom watches this and then calls and bitches at me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kim. 
I know. Yeah, but like, like as far as 2020 is concerned, we got a lot of things going on with the art. And I mean, all we do in the collective is we promote other artists. And like, if someone's having a show or an opening, we just flood social media. And, you know, kind of the same way you guys do, just cross promoting and stuff like that. And that's yeah. basically, you know, what we do. I just finished curating a um, an exhibit at Classy Glass Wine Bar. It's our black and white exhibit. Mm-hmm. It's preparing the file. Hold Uh-oh. on. Pause one second. Uh-oh. Uh, so, fun fact 10,000 Days is one of my most favorite albums do you like the new record i have not listened to it yet i'm sorry i'm i'm really behind on new music um it's so good but i actually had never heard of tool before i would i think i was like a junior in high school i'd never heard of tool before and there was a guy that i went to summer camp with that i was in love with and he was like hey (laughs) hey do you like tool and i was like yeah like i had no idea was this was this the guy you pissed your pants and were trying to avoid yes (laughs) yeah Yeah. and uh that together (laughs) good job um but he was also like 20 or something well something like (laughs) that he was just older Mm -hmm. I got a thing for the older dudes. Um, I, didn't, I didn't really get into Tool until a little bit like later down the road, and uh, no I saw one's them sober on my, and all that. Yeah, oh, man. I saw them on my birthday like two years ago in San Antonio, oh, nice. and I was blown away just by their light show in itself was worth the mm-hmm. price of the ticket because I was just like. My brain was fried after well, watching and them. I, they sound so incredible live. I've been listening to A Perfect Circle also since I was about 13 years old, and I did not put the two together that Maynard sang for <laughs> both of them. And yeah. then I listened to 10,000 Days, and I was like, is that Maynard? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I love them now. But that, that's one of my most favorite albums. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you guys big Tool fans? Or? Yeah. yeah, I love Tool. The new that's, records. That's the new also records on pretty. our nighttime playlist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 17 Shut minute up. songs man you gotta keep, keep See, I, can't have it. I don't like listening to music when I have sex it's it's distracting you, especially is it just silent in the room <laughs> <laughs> the hole in the like sheet so awkward <laughs> bag over the well, head <laughs> I think it's mostly like for me if it's especially if it's music that has lyrics I start listening to the lyrics and I like get oh. distracted so start I just singing <laughs> it's hard to like for guys to get in stride with the beat you know you're kind of like doing your own thing and oh. if you're listening to Slipknot you're gonna have a freaking heart attack you know? I guess but, but you might fall asleep if you're listening to Perfect Circle you'll be like oh my god <laughs> I, I don't know. I I don't know. It doesn't ever bother me that it's quiet. But yeah. also, you know, there uh, with our house as being as small as it is, uh, we have a four year old that's like really like almost uh, down the hall, yeah, and I'm afraid gotcha. that he'll just be like, "They're awake, party time!" And he'll <laughs> just come because he doesn't knock. He just pops his head oh. in, and he's like, "Hey, hello!" And I'm like, "Oh God." <laughs> Just go over, just go over your weekly to do list, like with no music going on, and make it dirty. Just be like, "Are we gonna get bananas today?" <laughs> yeah, we get some Add milk. bread to the shopping list. Game. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we could go to a movie on Saturday. I like making things dirty with my girl. I just like making things dirty just for no particular reason. <laughs> I don't think I could do the playlist because. Because I listen to a lot of like a mirror, like mm. extreme, like oh, like you're like what you listen to in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might you probably wouldn't be into that. <laughs> uh, or maybe you I'd would. have to try it. <laughs> One of those. It depends on on, on the know. mood that she's in. Yeah, I suppose depends. if it's like that fucking song from Franz <clears throat> Attila. No, I am the devil. Oh, good lord. No, like the pizza song. Oh, the pizza. Yeah. Oh my god, he loves this pizza song. It's like I smoked something with Papa John or something. You know, he uh, I snorted cocaine with Papa John. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. been wild lyrics. Mm, yes, pizza always puts me in the mood. Heck yeah, my girl's all about Shout tacos, to man. If I start talking about oh, tacos, tacos, she's like, there you go. She's, it's on. There you go. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean it's on? Is she like, does she like, oh my God, tacos. Uh. If I like, all right, so if I pick her up from work or something, how was your day? Oh, it was fine, whatever. And I was like, you want to get tacos? And she's like, all like coming over into my seat. Like, are you serious? And I'm like, You're like, I'm like, yeah, babe. But what about brisket tacos? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just, we just went to Dallas this past weekend to see a comedian and I took her to this place called Wild Salsa. It's like right in the middle of downtown Dallas. Did you go to see Brendan Schaub? No, we saw Lewis Black. Oh, the Majestic. Okay. Oh. The guy who shakes, ah, son of a bitch. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> he, was, he was amazing. He did like, he did like an hour and a half of stand up, and then he did like a thirty minute like Q and A after, like where you could nice. send in these rants, 
like you could rant about the traffic and then he would read it and say, Oh, Russell from Waco wants to know about what's going on with traffic on 35. And he would just go off for like 10 minutes, <laughs> just cussing and swearing up a storm. <laughs> and it was just, it was great. Cause I mean, it's worth the price of a ticket, but nice. Yeah. nice. We went to this place called wild sauce and they had these little baby brisket tacos. They were so good. <laughs> nice. We got place, time man. for it. Another sponsor? Is it burp in the yes, mic? we do. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Our sponsor is Bananas. <laughs> this episode is also brought to you by Mod Ministry. Mod Ministry merch creates for the edgy woman, the kind of woman who works hard but plays much harder, who embraces femininity but tests the societal limits. We are not for the faint of heart. We are bold. We are beautiful. Check out the Mod Ministry Etsy page for handmade harness lingerie. Five-star rated seller since 2014. Strap on. Strap <laughs> it on. No. Shout out to Mike TM for getting through that one. I have to on say, it was episode. real fun listening to him do that. He's yeah. like testing the limits of femininity. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't Aw, even think about having him read it. I was like, oh, interesting. Speaking of Deftones yeah. and, and Mike TM, the, her and Mike go back. Um, they're both Deftones fans, mm-hmm. but Mike is very, um, what would be a good word? Critical, like, he likes certain eras of bands. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, and they'll sit there and they'll they'll literally get heated and walk away from each other. That's how <laughs> I fucking have a few crazy friends that are like that and they're like, Oh, that album's trash and I was like, You shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That helped me get through the hard times. And yeah. This particular song it makes gets me cry. Personal. <laughs> it gets really personal because yeah. it's like you said, you can pinpoint a time when you were listening to them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and like some bands I've outgrown and I don't listen to anymore, but the second one of their songs come on, I'm like, Oh yes, this is my jam. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Takes you to that time. You yeah, know? a piggy was like an evanescence, like listening to kind of chick when you were little. You know, I I only liked evanescence a little bit. Like, like what did you listen to? Uh, I mean, I listened to System of a Down, My Chemical Romance, uh, Perfect Circle. Uh, you Can know, I get like the disco. Most of the, yeah, sometimes Panic <laughs> okay. at the Disco, sometimes Fall Out Boy, like. I, when I was trying to impress a guy, it was like Pantera and Slayer oh, yeah. and all of that. So, and fun <laughs> fact, I live next to the lead singer of uh, Slayer for a good amount of, of my life. Really? really? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I went to school with his daughter and rode the bus with her. Like, I've been to his house. I've ridden in his car. Like, oh, uh, cool. yeah, he's he's a really chill dude. And I only list, like, I listened to his music after I... Uh, met him and I was like, oh, okay, okay, I see what this is all about. Cool, so all right. Up on them tickets right. on that farewell right? tour. Yeah. I legend. never got invited. My uh. best friend got to go to those shows, and it was when he was always touring with Marilyn Manson. Uh-huh. And so she was like, yeah, I'm going to the going to the show, and I'm gonna go see, and Marilyn Manson's gonna be there, and I'm like hello, <laughs> hook a girl up, and she's like, oh well, you're not immediate family, so, and I'm like. Fuck you. <laughs> what do I have to do? Carve Slayer into my arm to get to go to the show? I yeah. met Marilyn Manson before. Oh, yeah? Yeah, one year when I had the record label, I got um, VIP passes to OzFest at Shoreline Amphitheater. Mm-hmm. And I was in the back. Like It was still restricted access, but you could eat breakfast with them <laughs> as they're setting up the thing. They had a, yes. a buffet thing. And me and Brian Allered, mm-hmm. shout out to my old guitar player, we're back yeah. there. And I saw Manson walking with Twiggy back mm-hmm. then. And then I was like, Manson, Manson. And he wouldn't listen, but his real name's Brian. Right. And I was like, Brian. And he turned around. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, let me get a picture. I, <laughs> Let's go get I, some breakfast tacos, bro. I, I love Marilyn English. Manson. I, I listened to that too when I was in high school. Yeah. A lot of Marilyn Manson scared the shit out of my mom, which, you know, everything I listened to scared the shit out of my mom. She found the... Um, the little inner booklet thing for System of a Down and oh. she read all the lyrics she's like yeah. what is this trash and we're like I yeah. don't know it's just music I saw Manson in 96 right when he did the Antichrist tour oh nice yeah, yeah. yeah yeah oh my god dude, I've never was... seen him live and nuts. I really need to <laughs> it was yeah, nuts me either. like I thought I was gonna get murdered in the pit because he was up there on that podium like ripping up a bible and mm-hmm. catching it on fire and I was like yeah it was the good days with Zimza wow. on the guitar mm-hmm. yeah yeah Incredible, yeah, man. I, I uh, used to record music videos on like VHSs when I was a little kid, mm-hmm. and then I'd go to like my buddy's house. And one time, yeah, I had uh, Sweet Dreams was on there, nice. and his mom, it's my buddy, shout out to Matt Taylor. His mom came running down, and uh, she ripped it out of the VCR and was like trying to break, break it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you will not listen to this in my house. I had like a whole box of Deftones bootleg VHS tapes that I used to dub 
on another tape and like sell on eBay. Oh my god! Wow. Probably get arrested. <laughs> She's got a couple. Yeah. A bunch of legal like the, recordings, the documentary ones, and like oh, yeah. Mexico ones yeah. and shit. Yeah, they've never really released like an actual live DVD or anything. I don't think they're going to, but I mean, that's just they just like doing the doing the album and Def Tens, they're just you very hear us. yeah. <laughs> Make one. <laughs> they're just low key, which I like yeah. about them. Like they're not yeah. egotistical. They're not full of themselves. They just like to make the music. Like they're you know yeah. Yeah, and they just get better. I think better with time. Bands that get better with time is just something that really excites me too. Like you're excited to hear the new Manson, or you're excited to hear the new Tool, or and like they've got Deftones are working on an album right now. It's supposed to come out next year, yeah. or the yeah. new Impending Doom. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I have to say, when your hair is shorter, you you have somewhat of a resemblance to Chino. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I have to make a side it. by side picture, like '95 Chino, like '90s. Oh Chino. yeah, okay. I okay. used to put so much product in my hair to spike it up because I'm a redhead, <laughs> like, and my hair is really thick and curly. Yeah. And so I would actually spike it up so I would look like Chino, and like everyone was like, "Dude, you look like you have nails in your head." And I was like, "That's what's up." <laughs> <laughs> I grow up, grow out my goatee. I, you know, got the beard thing going on now, yeah. but I used to have a point. You know, so. But yeah, he's a cool dude. I don't They're know what cool I would dudes. do with myself if I saw people running around trying to look like me. Like if I was in a band or something mm-hmm. and I just see people dress like me, I'd be like, yeah. don't stop. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't do that. Well, I have like a curse because I wear, you know, MLB hats and I always I've been wearing them backwards ever since I was like eight years old whenever I could get one. And everyone's mm-hmm. like, oh, you're a Limp Bizkit fan? I go, you shut your oh. fucking mouth. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. Did it for the nookie. Yeah. So I quit wearing red hats for I sure. Fred Durst. <laughs> I quit wearing red hats for sure because that's his thing. But I was like, I do not want to be tied to that dude. At you all. know, he's directing movies now. Really? Yes. He he's, used, he <clears throat> used to direct music videos back in the day. Oh. He he did di- Stains videos and shit. yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, he's directing a movie with John Travolta in it of all people. And John Travolta is like this oh. stalker, um, it, it, celebrity stalker. It already came out and it it, it did? didn't it didn't make any money in the box. Oh, oh really? No. Yeah, Google it. Yeah, maybe because it it's it got like, uh, John Travolta. It was John Travolta's biggest flop. Oh, oh no! Yeah. John Travolta is like it. becoming the Nicolas Cage of our time. Uh, <laughs> you don't even take mention that, that name. Back. I know he's an icon. He's doing no. A movie about he, no, we do not talk about that man in here. I absolutely hate him. Oh, okay. he's got a, I cannot stand. He's got him. a forehead the size of Montana. <laughs> <laughs> I actually uh, like. Crashed a golf cart in Catalina Island one time by his one of his houses fucking that Catalina he, wine mixer. Yeah, and a fucking Catalina wine mixer. <laughs> Boats like, and hoes. Yeah, everyone was like, "That's Nicholas Cage's house." I was like, "Which one? One of 20 And they're like, "Probably." And I like crashed this golf cart and had to have it towed. I used to work on cruise ships, so I was in Catalina Island yeah. like every Tuesday for like a year. <laughs> so Man. it was fun. That's a very very rich island. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> place is so cool. I went there once. It was. I went paddle boarding and there was like a little seal that was like right next to me and the water is so clear and stuff. Yeah. Seals will murder you. Don't sleep on seals. They, they will won't bite murder your toes. you. They will bite your toes off. They're the let puppies you of the out. sea. What? Man. They're yeah. the puppies of the sea, man. Yeah, the puppies of you the think sea. They're cute. You think they're cute until they bite you off your toes. Oh God, now I'm just Are you missing by. some toes due to a seal? Um, possibly. I have a fake leg, so I don't know. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, whoa, Wait, what? what happened? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're used to seals in Santa Cruz. They just, mm-hmm. they fucking lay out and just, oh, God. <laughs> and then you just toss them a cheeseburger. Those or aren't seals, those are sea lions. Whatever. The, that's the big ones. The ones the those size the of this ones. table, or those are the sea yeah. little guys that hang out with no. them. Mm, no, the ones that sit on the dock and stuff are the big ones. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> water, Anyways. water puppies. Water puppies. What do y'all think of these reunion tours? Everyone is—is is this Rage tour going to happen or is it a hoax? It'll happen. Rage tour. Rage yeah, against Rage the Twenty Twenty. Yeah, they. You haven't seen it. the dates? They no. Announced dates in El Paso. I'm so flying out there. Yeah, because they ca- they called um, Prophets of Rage. They they ended it. Thank so. God for that. And I think that was interesting. In part because Zach's coming back. I love Rage, but Professor Rage was not not cool. <laughs> I don't want to hear be, be real try and scream bomb track or you know bulls on parade. I just, I just can't, <laughs> I can't I can't yeah. deal with you know. I mean, it was good for what they were trying to do it for to raise awareness or whatever. But I was like, no, I need I need Zach's scream and energy and fury. You yeah. Know? So that'll be a good tour. I'm sure tickets will be astronomical. And oh, hard of course, as hell to get. of course, hard as hell to get, but. StubHub. 
Shout out to StubHub. <laughs> All right. Well, we're getting to towards the end of our show here. So we're going to get into the uh, life of the comment section. Want to kick us off there? No handles? Sure. No handles? <laughs> That's my rap name now, y'all. <laughs> no handles. Um, okay, so our first comment is from Bianca De La Rosa on YouTube. Necroelectric and Stevie Weeby are my favorite podcasts. Boom. Thank you. Awesome. Shout Thank out to you. Stevie Weeby Kwong Lu. Yeah, we love Stevie Weeby. Too. He followed me on Instagram. Craig. I was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Are you familiar with Stevie Weeby? Is he he's a comedian or his brother is Bobby Lee? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. he has a, a podcast has a show called the Stevie Weeby Show. Sean Bobby was on it Lee, once. yeah, Bobby Lee is insane. I built Live. his website. Oh, fucking, really? Yeah, not Bobby, Bobby. Lee's oh. Stevie Weeby. Oh, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, I love Bobby Lee. Yeah. I saw him in Hollywood one time, and he was like, came out there with his shirt off and was like rubbing his nipples and yeah. <laughs> being inappropriate. But that's him. That's Bobby Lee. Oh yeah. And what's the next one? Oh, next we have from Facebook, Chase Davis. I drive for a living and podcasts like this one are clutch. Clutch. Is that what the, that clutch. means? Is that the new I'm slang? I'm pretty sure that means cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did we just show our age or what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Clutch we're, means we're dope. Clutch. clutch means woke. Dope. Nope. Awesome. Woke. Is it clutch like like a clutch or like clutch like a fucking purse ah truck driver pun <laughs> I don't think it's like a purse is that what it is it's a truck clutch. driver pun yes, oh gotcha. okay, you guys okay. really shift my gears it's, it's essential <laughs> to moving yeah there we go alright mystery <laughs> solved well, let's get into some shout outs um okay uh shout out to um all of my family coming in for Thanksgiving um I was would you say it was like a hundred deep or something <laughs> Well, on Thursday, there's going to be 45 people. How do you and feed that many people? 45 We're people? all bringing food. Yeah. We're all bringing food. My uncle's making... Point. Is this at a house? Where yeah, is it's at my grandma's house. Is it, is a, it a big-ass fucking house? No. <laughs> it's, but we're going to be like out in the house and like out in the garage. Like the, Down the, the garage is like, I know. <laughs> and then Friday, we're going to have like 40 to 45 people again Fuck. for a special occasion. So it's, you know, it's That's gonna be a crazy, crazy weekend, but I'm super excited because we're gonna see family I haven't seen in a while. So yeah. it's gonna be a good time. Nice. Nice. I love my family, but no. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> it's gonna be us and his cousin at our house. Yeah. This year. Shout out to Macy and Steve. Yeah. Cool. That's nice. Small little thing. That'll be yeah. nice. Yeah. I'm keeping yeah. it local. I think, I don't know how many people we're going to have, but uh, mm-hmm. I was like, what am I bringing, mom? She's like, well, hey, what do you know how to cook? And I was like, I know how to bring drinks. I'll bring some sweet tea from Bushes or <laughs> something. Like, I'm real go. low key. I just <laughs> I'll show bring up. The beer. And, there you go. Jack Daniels. <laughs> Play to your strengths. Yeah. Play to your strengths. I think my brother's going to like roast a pig or something. Oh, shit. My brother's nice. Like, my brother's insane. He learns how to do everything on YouTube. Yeah. So he's like, hey, I built my own like smoker out of a 55 gallon drum and I'm like what how'd you do that and he's like YouTube that's crazy <laughs> so yeah he's like I think I'm gonna roast a pig this year and I was like am, am I, are we having a luau do I need to bring some pineapple like what's up and he's like if you want to that's awesome <laughs> you should have a luau yeah <laughs> roasted yeah. pig is the best I'm glad I'm not the only one not cooking turkey we're doing yeah. tri-tip I like turkey sandwiches but I don't like turkey you still didn't explain what that was tri-tip, tri-tip? Tri-tip. Yeah, you don't know what tri tip is. It's it's steak. We did this the last it's, yeah, episode. It's a steak. Oh, it's just a, oh. A certain cut of this is Texas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Womp, womp. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, we do it big at Thanksgiving. Everyone brings dips and chips. And nice. Yeah, that's my only contribution is dip. The food yeah. we have before our food, so we sit around and just you know. My uncle's Miserable. making two turkeys. He's making one regular style, and then he's making one Cajun style. Yeah, he's like, nice. yeah, like I think he started like either today, like he probably yeah. started this at like this morning, getting yeah. all the turkeys ready and everything. So, and then it's like ham and brisket and tenderloin oh and all gosh, sorts of stuff. Crazy. So I'm gonna be like 15 pounds heavier when yeah. I come. Back. Are you guys <laughs> traveling? Are you, you staying local? Are you traveling? Cause uh, my grandma lives in Bryan, so we'll travel to Bryan, but then everything else is gonna be yeah, here don't, in Waco. Don't get on the interstate. Ooh no! It's if you're shout going, out to Text Dot for fucking up everybody's weekend. God, right. if you are going north on 35. Buckle up. You are in for a long ass ride because the traffic is terrible going I was, north. I was really? late to work yesterday and I had a dentist appointment by the mall. And it took, like, I, I work out in Bell Mead, so it took me, it's 10 miles 
took me two and a half hours to get to Bellmead's the <laughs> fucking worst. I hate driving down Bellmead now. So if you guys don't know, like here in Texas, when they do road construction, like in California, if they're going to do something, mm-hmm. like we're used to them just doing one little tiny spot. They finish Start it, they finish. go to the next. Right. But in Texas, they just demolish it like the five miles. miles. Yeah. Five miles of fucking highway. Yep. Yeah. And then it, it just goes on for years. Yeah. And apparently. if you get into a wreck or your car gets fucked up, sorry about it. Like, you don't have there to drive people, on the road. There were people oh pulling God. over to the side of the road where I was at because they were running out of gas. Oh, I shit. almost ran out of gas. And I no was like, way. my mom was like, what are you doing? Why are you not at work? And I'm like, well, I'm stuck on the side of the road and I can't go anywhere. And I'm BFE because I went and took the loop, which goes around Waco, yeah. Yeah. which everybody else took. Yeah. And I was sitting here going, this was a great idea. And I stood, I literally stood in the same spot for like 30 minutes. I only take two streets, Hewitt or Franklin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. the only yeah. two. And I mean, exactly. like Hewitt Drive didn't used to be this wide and like flat and everything. It used to be like a two lane road. So that once they finally finished the construction out here for that, it was like everyone was like, oh, thank God. Well, in the construction over by Bellmead, they said it's going to go on for the net for another five years. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm like, fuck you. Thank you very much. Somebody posted on Facebook that there was a five hour like if you were in that by Baylor and going through Bellmead, it was a five hour to get like. To west, which is uh, today, yeah, like right now. Fuck yeah, that. Five hours holiday, to get to west. Holiday Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> they picked staying. a hell of a time to start demolishing that bridge, or I know, whatever right? they're doing to it, or adding on to it, or something. So, all right. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for thank you coming out. And yes, fun. thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Everyone, shout give, out and give me a follow. Uh, yeah, give check out his Rust Instagram tone, page. Rust tone eighty on Instagram. Just give me a follow, and you know, if you need some art, let me know. Sweet. Mm-hmm. All right. Until next time. Later. Bye.